you get if there's a static in the mop head that actually creates a charge, a static charge that you can hear, you can, Betty, come fill this. I mean, that's amazing, isn't it? It is. Betty, huh? oh, I want you to come and <laughs> stop it to me. Yeah. Oh, it was my fault. Well, you know. Drag it towards you and you feel, can you feel that static charge, that feed uh -huh. suction to the floor? Yeah. That's what pulls all the hair and dirt and grime into the pad itself. See, that's what I don't feel with the double sided. Ah, oh. you know, it's missing me. Okay. Do you want to feel it? I, yeah, I, I know at the party I, I could feel it, but when I got that other one home, yeah. I'm like, well, this isn't like that. Well, yeah, no, it's a little bulkier. And, and you can feel yeah. that. This one gives a little so it can do that. Yeah. So then you have this extra flap, so you can go along your baseboards, and then when you're sweeping, make sure you, that you do a figure eight motion like this, so that you're actually keeping the dirt in front of the pad. And if there's anything there, you can pick it up with your EnviroCloth. Otherwise, most of it will be stuck here, but I think somebody probably, oh, there's some hair, do you see it? The dogs are walking back and forth trying yeah. to help you have hair. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> you see the hair stuck yeah, here. Their <laughs> from the dog. And then we have this lovely rubber brush that we brush it all out with. So I'm going to just do it right here so we that can see it. That also adds static to it. Yes. Recharges the fibers. Mm -hmm. And it does that for the dust uh, mitt and the Enviro wand. So now I did that there so you can actually see that in the head of the mop pad there was something. Did you see it falling as mm -hmm. I was brushing it? It's actually right here. There's a pile right there. Now I'm going to grab that wet pad real quick. So what if, okay, so if you have, let's just say, because I always get crumbs all over. Yep. And then when I use you the are one I... You to me, right? Yeah. <laughs> crumbs, that's my house. Oh, okay. <laughs> But see, the thing is, when I use mine, which is, you know, something like this, but not exactly, you know, the, the typical yes. whatever one, um, then I just feel like um, there's just, what do you do with those? So I guess you all, I almost feel like I have to use the other broom to, like, sweep it before I even use that. Okay, so let me tell so, you this. If you used another broom to sweep, this would go behind and get absolutely everything. Cause my son cut his boy's hair. He was sweeping up. My daughter-in-law says, what are you doing? because he wasn't using Norwex. He's like, I'm cleaning up. She's like, fine, he's the man, he's cleaning, let him do it. And two days later, she gets out the Norwex mop and sweeps around the kitchen and the bottom of it is coated with those little teeny hairs from cutting their hair. So with this, you're not gonna find you need to go behind and re-clean. You're gonna get But it. so you think you get everything, like crumb, I mean, you don't have to do two sweeps, basically. You know, if you I just have do crumbs once. and I use that figure eight motion, mm -hmm. the crumbs are stuck in front of the mop pad. Or they're all coated on the bottom of it, depending yeah. on how fine the crumbs are. So you're saying what was stuck in front, you just used this gray cloth wet. To pick it up. Yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. And then when you're on wood floor, you don't use a figure eight motion. You want to go with the grain of the wood mm -hmm. so that you're not causing, not that I've ever seen it streak, but it's less apt to streak if you were going to have any streaking. If you're already going with the grain, it's kind of like when you're varnishing it. You're going to go with the grain, not against the grain. Mm -hmm. And I barely got this mop pad wet. Yeah, I can't have no. my wood floor. I can't use much water at all. I was yeah. going to say, I don't think, I thought you weren't supposed to use water on your wood floor, period. Yeah, I don't use, I, it's very, very You dry. can spray. You know, my husband likes to do it. He's kind of OCD. But he, <laughs> <laughs> but he'll do, um, with the flip one, uh -huh. He'll do one side wet, and then he'll flip it over with the clean dust one and dry it. Oh, yeah. See, we have these mm. pads. You can yeah. actually take and put the polish cloth on it. Yeah. Maybe a real dark hardwood. Hurry up, and it out. And shines it up. But that's a good idea, too. <laughs> so, and it won't take but minutes to dry. And, like, instead of it getting wet like I did it, you can actually spray the pad or spray the floor. Because you do want a little water. To Depends on how often you want. Yeah. yeah, and if you have any scuff marks, you just take this and get your scuff marks off with the rubber end. Hmm. Yep. There you go. Yep. And 
I yes. just put my foot on it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can go like that too if there's yeah. something stuck, like an extra hard spot to clean. But I something like black tennis shoe scuff marks, you can get it with this rubber thing. Now see, we have the real dark wood that's got all the creases and knocks in it. Yes. Yeah, I use it on that. Yeah, it, it's amazing, isn't it? It's one of the best kept secrets that we're trying to get out there that people need to know about. And then this actually does dual purpose. Your height ceiling is not quite as high, but sure, so you could probably reach bad. with this. These tanks. Yeah, I never did that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just <didn't laughs> but this will, uh, you can clean your ceiling fans with this, mm -hmm. or these, low, these lights in here. And clean along, dust along here if you need to. This thing is great for the cold air return. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Do not worry, Mom. I'm turning the volume down. No, don't have that on right now on here, honey. Don't worry, Mom. Just science. No, 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 no. no. Go downstairs. Oh, you should have. I haven't cleaned that. Well, I guess I don't know, though, the way we had to get everything so clean because of Josiah. It's right there. And then. Yeah, yeah, we had the whole, we had it professionally cleaned, like recently. See, you won't have to anymore. And the dust mitt. Oh, this is a new add in, too. This. Like she extend to get underneath oh. the furniture. So it's a new thing on the wall. Yes, so. a new thing mm -hmm. for the wall. What did I do with that? Thank you. Oh. And then this back. It's great for reaching, like Kathy uses it on her, uh, the RV, the slide out part. Mm -hmm. And you can't reach back there to clean, so she puts this up there and cleans back there behind where her slide out comes up, huh. the RV. Then, so, you, so notice the floor is already dry. But then you can go in here and get underneath here. So I know there's some food under there. Yeah, I know it. I know it. It should be. Yeah, under your couch. Yeah. It's great for that. So that's called the Ergo Bend. And then this is great because you can leave your mop handle there, great that the dog doesn't run into it and it won't fall on the floor. <laughs> and I was looking for my dust mitt. Oh, 